Hi, my name is Greg Pallia. I'm with Wasp Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Void Boy Roofing. Today we're going to talk about comparing the most popular traditional roofing systems out there. Single ply, metal, spray foam, and roof coating systems. Um, I wanted to point this out real quick. Um, every roofing system out there will perform exactly how it's supposed to be. It will be a great solution for you. Um, if it's installed right and maintained right, just, to, I mean, they'll all work how they're supposed to work if they're maintained right. So just want to point that out there. Um, but each one has their pros and cons. There's certainly a reason why there's different ones out there and reasons people prefer one or the other. Uh, so I just want to quickly go through the pros and cons of all of them. Um, but certainly when you're done here, um, click in the description below, there's a URL to a blog post there. You can learn more um, about the pros and cons of all of them. But, but real quickly, uh, single ply roofs, um, some of the pros, you know, it's lightweight, they're easy to maintain. Um, there's lots of contractors that perform the work, which is great because you can get multiple quotes and you know go through which ones you want to choose and which ones you don't do. Um, however, the cons are is that they all have seams on them. Um, when the roof fluctuates, the temperatures go up and down, the seams, they're the ones that get the most stress on it. And over time, those get pulled apart. I mean, if they install it right, it'll last, but it's certainly um, a variable of leaking um, that other systems don't have out there. Next one is metal roofing. Um, time tested and durable. It's been around for a long, long time and super durable. Um, however, they're real expensive um, to remove, to repair, or replace. I mean, they're, they're more expensive than any of the roof, any roofing system out there. So just keep that in mind if uh, cost is a big issue for you. Um, spray foam roofing. Um, some pros is that they're seamless. They don't have to deal with the stress of the seams pulling apart. They have a high R value. R value is, you know, how heat transfers through materials. You know, the better R value, the you know, less your H HVAC unit will have to work. So you can expect energy savings there. Um, they're quickly installed and they're renewable. So once their warranty period is up, you know, 10 to 20 years, you uh, clean the roof, add more coating on, and you can get a new 10 or 20 year warranty, which is something the other roofing systems can't, can't have. Um, however, um, spray foam has a limited insulation window, needs to be 50 degrees, um, not a lot of wind, um, has to be completely dry. So it's, sometimes it's hard to install those roofs. Um, another bad thing is there's not a lot of contractors out there that do spray foam. Um, so you might have to get a contractor far away to come do it. And a lot of contractors that do do foam, they don't understand the science of it, you know, how it cures, how the, the ratios of the, of the materials need to be perfect. Um, so there's a lot of science behind it. You know, if you're gonna cho choose spray foam, make sure you pick a contractor that you know, has a roster of roofs they did 10, 15, 20 years ago that are still performing great today. Um, now we'll go to uh, roof coating systems. Kind of a newer roofing system out there. Um, it is the same coating that goes over spray foam roofs, um, but certainly a pro is that it'll make your existing roof seamless, which we talked about doesn't have to do with the stress anymore. Um, add some reflectivity to your roof. You know, if you have a darker, you know, EPDM roof, you can put coating over that and turn it into a light gray roof or a white roof, which will reduce the temperature on top of your roof. Um, the problem is a lot of, it's hard to be eligible to get that coating system. So the roof needs to be like 25% of the insulation um, cannot be saturated. The seams need to be in good condition, like not losing adhesion at all. And uh, the roof has to have been maintained at least annually before. So it's gotta be a good to decent condition roof to get a coating system on there. So eligibility is definitely a huge kind. Um, that's really it for today. Just wanted to go through them real quick. Uh, like I said, uh, read the blog post for more details. Hope you learned at least uh, one thing new today and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.